ko Ngāti Rauka, me Ngāti Tō, Oku Iwi. I've been a Te Reo Māori teacher for 15 years in mainstream environment. Year 9 and 10, Māori students weren't engaging in their secondary school education. Going into the senior school in those important years of NCA Level 1, 2 and 3, what well, didn't bode well for them. Being able to apply the principles of Kahakitea to the school was the creation of Rangatahi Order. When Chris came up with this idea and you know we could see his passion, we just went, we've got to do this because nothing else we have done or have tried has made any difference. Rangatai Ora is Māori achieving educational success as Māori. As Māori is knowing who you are, holding your head up high, knowing where you come from. All those things are as Māori. Being able to go to a Māori setting and excel and putting them together in Māori educational environments where everybody was achieving excellence. It's a Māori rōpū for trying to make us Māori students excel in our education and stuff. And so far it's helped every single one of us. Before I even came to college, I didn't know anything about my Māori side. We've seen students acknowledging who they are, valuing who they are, their culture, their language, and when they know that, then they have a sense of where they're going. We get heaps of opportunities to do things, but the things we do as a whānau is we have Tikanga Tuesday, we have um, Shed Kai on Thursdays. Home home eat together in a circle so we can like talk to each other and like bond more. Normalising that behaviour, normalising um, that the parents are going to come in and the local iwi are finally going to come in oh, yeah. and just be involved in their lives. And I think the greatest thing about Rangatahi Ora is that, you know, it's about being the best Māori that you can be, you know, and like, you know, it brings out the best in our tamariki, you know, and, and when, they, when, when they're out there, they shine. Kawa within the colleges here is put down Mopoko Kawa, so straight away that the college is under our umbrella, you know, as an iwi, that's an engagement that's never happened in the past. One of the things that I really love about the last couple of years is that the leadership have released the kids to do projects with us at the Marae, so you know, I can think when the kids did the planning, the shopping and the serving and the manaki tanga for our kaumatawa and we tied that in with the NCEA credits. Another disparity was activities week. A lot of our kids missed out. Three or four hundred dollars to go to Rotorua for a week. My kids haven't been north of Taupo. Our rangatahi would stay here. So we raised money every year. The Fano decided that, how are we going to do this? Shall we have a hangi? Shall we go to the marae? Shall we have a matariki banquet? We went on the uh, furthest trip ever. We went to Auckland, riding roller coasters, going to Waiweta hot pools, going to Māori television. We live at the marae, we give them the most awesomest Māori week you can give people. And when they come back from that, they have changed. Ko Ngāte Pare Raukaua Tōku Happy. Part of the kaupapa on these trips is that we have to do what we call hui de pō, which is um, we stand up and we, we do our pepiha, which is telling people uh, basically our history and where we come from. And um, that's something we have to learn before we can actually go on these trips. Well, Maya, she helped me with my pronunciation and everything else around it, and I get nailed for it every time. The engagement of the students was very obvious. They love being at Rangatahi Ora. But as management within the college, we wanted to know whether that engagement was reflected in academic results. Our green line is our Rangatahi Ora. So blue is Māori and red is national. It's just showing this amazing uh, gradient on the graph here with our Rangatahi Ora students. And when you cut it down to literacy and numeracy at level two, it's actually showing the blue here, Rangatahi Ora, is above our 
Māori students and above European students. Mato Chris and some of his tuakana are going out to other schools to introduce Rangatahi Order, to show the kaupapa and to allow them to pick it up so that they can run it. My son Caden, he lived in Australia till he was the age of seven. He came over here um, not having any sort of uh, Māori culture. Last year of his college, he actually won the Kapahaka performance for his club and he's actually moving back to Australia to live. So that's something that he can take with him throughout his whole life. Oh, my old man. Once he heard I was picking my grades up with Rangatahi Ora, he, he was happy, real happy. It's done so much for all of us now. And yeah, this is half of the reason why we're still at school. We proved that when we're Māori and we work together, nothing's impossible. Whoa! <laughs>